You ever open up an effect rack and there's like 30 plugins here that you need to close out? Well, there's actually a really quick way that you can close it. You can do Command Option P. Otherwise, if you're on Windows, you can use Control Option and P. And then what that's going to do is it's going to hide all of the windows here. But there's one major problem with this. You can see it got rid of all those windows. But if we want to go open one of them, boom, all of them open again. So the ideal thing would be just to close all of them down so that that doesn't happen. So if I do something like this, then it closes everything down. And what you can do is you can get this free software called Plugin Closer. What I like about this program is you can pretty much customize any key command that you want to close it and it'll work. So for instance, what I do is I use command and period to close everything down. It's really easy for me to type in quick. And the nice thing about this is it uses zero CPU. So you don't have to worry about another program on your computer taking up CPU. Another way you could do that exact thing is by downloading the Live Enhancement Suite. And I know a lot of people have probably already heard about this because it's been around for a while. But one of the features that comes with this is that window closing thing. But the only thing is you can't map it to any key command you want right but you get all these other features as well and the one that i like the most and we're going to look at here in a second is that you can quickly open up this menu thing right here to pick out different plugins and stuff that you want to load into your program but look at they have all this functionality you can time your projects here's the close all windows which it maps it to control alt w and then you have clear tracks draw notes and you have all this different stuff that you can do here that menu thing is my favorite and i'll use it the most because all you have to do is right click twice using your mouse boom boom there you go click it twice and it's going to pop up with a menu here that you can create and customize yourself with all your favorite plugins and categories that you want to use so for instance i have effects and i have all my favorite eqs reverbs cassette plugins effectors limiters and everything like that and then i can go ahead and click on one of them and boom it's going to load it right onto that track for me so there we go this next one you guys might know about but i want to make sure you're doing it effectively so if we want to go ahead and color in the velocities let's say we have a roll with our hi-hats we're going to select everything that we want to do then we're going to press b on the keyboard and it's going to toggle on our pencil b again to go back regular but pressing b we can then go down here and we can use it dragging them along but you need to make sure they're selected so it knows which ones you're doing it for and you also need to make sure that you're zoomed in far enough or that you have your grid small enough that you can do them each individually. Next, let's say you're mixing and mastering your project and you wanna compare that to another project and do the A-B test. Well, let me go ahead and grab this Metro Boomin' song right here and we can throw this into our beat. The only problem with this is now it is going to our master and all of the plugins that I have on my master are gonna be affecting that so I'm not gonna be able to hear it correctly. But what we can do to get around that is we can go ahead and insert a return track right here, and we're gonna call this Pre, or you could call it Pre Master. What I'm gonna go ahead and do then is I'm gonna take all these plugins right here and I'm gonna copy them over to that Pre Master. And now I can go ahead and delete those off the actual master. Then all we have to do is for all of our groups and tracks, we can go ahead and set this to Sends Only, and then we can send it completely to C, boom. We just got to do that for everything. So we got our melody group over here. We're going to send this to C member to send it to sends only. And then for anything that's not grouped, you have to do those individually. So set it to sends only and then go ahead and send it to C. So now what's going to happen is when we go ahead and play this track and then I turn off this, it's now going to turn off everything because it's all routed to this channel. And now that we have all of our mastering effects here, we can have this track right here go straight to the master and skip the pre-master and that's going to go ahead and dodge our mastering chain and you can get an accurate reading on what it sounds like compared to your track. There's also this free plugin right here called the Mix Matcher. You can go ahead and get it on maxforlive.com. And what you can do is you can put this Mix Matcher on our pre-master if we're following that last step. And it's going to be reading that pre-master as if it's the master. And then we can put our Metro Boomin track right here. Now when we go ahead and press play, the blue one is going to be the pre-master, the channel that we're on. And the pink one is going to be this Metro Boomin song that we have selected here. The only issue is when we play both of these tracks, they overlap. So it sounds crazy. So what you can do for the time being is you can go over here and set this to sends only. And then we can still go ahead and see what they look like in correspondence. We're going to go ahead and jump into some more specific Ableton features, but first let me show you a couple of these other programs that you got to know about. The first one is the GM Audio Clipper. This one used to be free, but since they've updated, it now costs like seven bucks, but this is like a dedicated soft clipper for Ableton. 
And what I love about it is how transparent and how great it sounds. And that's because it's using a 5x linear phase delta over sampling algorithm. And I can pretty much just set this thing on my master and I can either push input into it or change the output or the ceiling and it just sounds so great. The next one is the Swiss Army Meter, which is a luff meter that works right in Ableton. And you can get an accurate reading on your luffs and your integrated and true peaks just by having this open and running your track. And the last one I want to show you is the GM Audio Ducker. I absolutely love this one for sidechaining. Again, it's an Ableton integrated plugin. And what this is good for is sidechaining your kick in 808s or your snares and kicks on your melodies or whatever you need to sidechain. And it does an actual volume sidechain. So it does a really clean job of it. And what I really love is that you even have an amount. So you can turn down the dry wet on this after you dial it in perfectly. If jumping back into some Ableton functionality, did you know if you click on any of these clips and you press Z on your keyboard, boom, it zooms you right into it. Then you can press X to go back out. You can just zoom in really quick make your little edits, and boom, be on your way. And you can zoom right back out pressing X, and then you can move on to the next part of your beat. For this next one, I'm just going to go ahead and grab a random drum loop right here and bring it into our project. There's a couple ways we can affect it. The first way is if we go in here and we go to convert drums to new MIDI track, this is going to do something really dope for us. It goes ahead and makes a new MIDI track for us. Let's go ahead and solo this, and let's just take a listen to it. Now let's hear the original. So what it did is it just recreated the MIDI and everything with default drums that you can go ahead and change. I mean, let's just look at it. It got the swing and everything and it knew where the snares were, where the kicks were, and the hi-hats, and it did that all appropriately. So what you could do is you could use this just to get the groove in your beats, or you could even go into this drum rack right here and switch out your favorite kick, snare, or hi-hat to go ahead and affect it like that. And guys, you can also do this with harmonies and melodies too, so don't just think that's for drums. Let's go ahead and grab a melody here, and I'm just gonna clip just this little part out for us right here. In fact, let's just make it eight bars to keep it easy, and we're gonna do something a little different with this. So what we're looking for is the slice to new MIDI, but you can see that it's not available. We need to go ahead and consolidate this clip Command J or Control J on Windows, it's going to consolidate our clip. And now we're going to see that slice to new MIDI track feature. It's going to ask you how many notes you want, and it's going to tell you how many slices it's going to give you. So if we do a half a note, you can see this current clip is in 16 beat long. So this will result in six slices. And then you have these different slicing presets, but I've just been using the built in one that works really well. So let's go ahead and press OK now. And look what it did for us. It sliced up those quadrants into eight slices like it told us it was going to do. So this could be a way to go ahead and remix a sample you created or a different one you have. I could take slice four and I could put it down here, maybe change this slice around. Put this one here, change it here. You could just double up one. You could do all this to go ahead and make your own melody. But that's not all. You also have all of these controls down here to play with. You obviously have your attack, decay, sustain, and release. But these ones down here give whole new meaning. So let's just play around with them really quick. All right, I played with this for just a couple seconds. And this is what we have now. Now let's hear what the original sounded like. And are you guys as obsessed as I am with getting new sample packs and drum kits all the time? If you are, you got to check out the Audio Hacker VIP because that's where we send you all of the best shit you can find anywhere. And you can click the link at the top of the screen right now to learn more about that.